Hello guys, today I want to show you two practical examples of database transactions in Laravel based on the package Laravel Pay Pocket that we've been reviewing for quite a while on this channel. So I decided to do that quite often. Take a project or a package and then divide that into different topics, different examples into short videos. So database transactions are very well used here in my opinion. Example number one transaction of making a deposit to a virtual wallet. So what happens here and why transaction? DB transaction with a few outside variables and then we get the wallet type from enums and I will have a separate video about enums and how they are used in this package. So subscribe to the channel to get that video upcoming in a few days. But then we have a wallet to create or take it from the database. That's why it has first or create by type so this is one database operation and then another database operation is wallet increment by that amount and create a log so here we see three database operations at least create a wallet or get a wallet change the amount and save notes so if any of those three fails for whatever reason then all the transaction is rolled back and nothing is changed in the database so this is a perfect example, simple but perfect example for a demonstration of database transactions. If you have multiple operations on changing the data, especially if you're dealing with money or deposit, in this case it's virtual wallet, but it could be real money, for example, in your database, then do use transactions. For example, if the wallet amount incrementation doesn't work, then the new wallet would not be even created. Now, what's inside of that increment and create log? It comes from another trait of the package, which is increment and create log, which has other methods inside. And this is what actually happens on the database level. This logs create, so another database operation for creating the log. And then also another operation of changing that status to done. And change status is another database operation of this save that comes from the model itself so this is one thing that is happening and then increment balance is another internal function i guess or actually it's not even a function of a package it's eloquent function because we're dealing with eloquent model so we're incrementing balance of eloquent model of a wallet by this value so yeah three database operations creating a wallet adding a log information and then incrementing the wallet balance transaction is a must here and then another example from the same package but totally different example is transactions for payment for a product from virtual wallet and in here we have order value but we need to split that order value this is how package works by multiple wallets so for example if we need to pay 100 points or dollars or coins or whatever is your virtual currency and your wallet number one has 50 remaining and wallet number two has another 50 then we need to pay from both and that's why we have for each so we get all the wallets and do for each of those wallets and from each of them we decrement and create log so we call another function similar function so in the last example we called increment and create log in this case it's decrement but the same logic happens so decrement and create log are two functions two database calls for insert and create and then it happens for each of the wallets, no matter how many wallets there are. So it may be two database operations, it may be four, it may be six, it may be more. So in this case, also database transaction is a must because in any of those cases, if something happens with any of the wallet balance, no matter the reason, everything will be rolled back and operation will be considered as failed with exception in this case or general exception and then in your controller in your model or whatever you use to call this method you will handle that and show error for the user so yeah these are just two examples but very practical examples of using transactions database transactions in laravel i have more videos about database transactions and i will link that in the description below so you can watch some more examples Subscribe to this channel to get more practical examples in the future, including enums that I announced just a few minutes ago, and see you guys in other videos.